Hey guys, welcome to the winner's match, final round. Another commentary done by Diggity. We got Navi, who's a mod. I'm going to throw up the predictions, because honestly, this has been a good one thus far. Upper right-hand corner, we have Ball as the yellow Protoss. Upper left-hand corner, we have Jess as the pink Protoss, with that alliteration. Between these two, honestly, could be anyone's match. I like what Jess... I, I like the tenacity of Jess. I like that Ball has kind of... He's. I feel like that match... There were mo multiple opportunities to throw that away, way, but Ball held on, held strong, closed it out. Can he win this final match to advance out of the winner's bracket? I think it would be deserved. Jess, opposite corner. Keep in mind, whoever loses this match still has an opportunity in the loser's uh, series after this. Or sorry, the final series after this. So that it's not it's not over over yet. But it has been an intense series thus far. And honestly, like I think fun. Fun to cast. I should give a shout out to the other casters out there. Master Ray does most of the coverage. I think I got listed in in uh, Ball's post on the Brood War subreddit. By the way, check out r slash Brood War for just general information about what's going on in Brood War. Also, I should throw this out. I've produced a, on GitHub. There's a GitHub community resource list of just all sorts of places to find, I don't know, communities, things like that. Ball may be going for the 12 Nexus again. Starting a uh, counter, counterclockwise scout. And unfortunately, if he goes for it here, this is going to be... Uh, does it right in the face of this probe. Just sees it. Just shows that it's been seen. One gateway finish, and I think Je that's, yeah, when it gets spotted like this, with a, a player of the caliber of Jess, it can be difficult to execute. Oof. We'll see what Ball can pull out. Because the hope on a four-player map when you're going 12 Nexus like this, this is why it's such a risky build, is you're hoping it gets scouted later, so that time variance that you can work with is larger to get your own economy up. Instead... Two Nexus is down, and he's going to stick to it. He's like, nope, we're going with it. He's not canceling that Nexus. Popping down two additional gateways. I'm wondering if we're going to see three... How Jess is going to go about this. Whether it's going to be three gateways, or just stick to two and go pure Dragoon, or something along those lines. Probe sneaking in, so going to get a look at it. Seeing only the two gateways in the Cybernetic Core initially. Just cycling back around to go ahead and see if there was any... If there was a forge or follow-up tech along those lines. It does fall to Jess to press into this and stop this action. This is this is like in military terms, like when we've been getting a bunch of water. It's in military terms. It's like when someone goes into that neutral territory. And it's like, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? What's up, Rustig? Out in the chat. Normally, for a cast that's going out on YouTube, I would not uh, do the Twitch person shout out in the middle of a cast. But because it's Rustig and he got an unfair ban recently, I'm still gonna go ahead and still gonna go ahead and give him the shout out. Two gateway production of just pure dragoons. There has been a single zealot, a couple zealots produced here for Ball. He's gonna have three zealots on the front. Surprise, we're not seeing a third gateway or any additional pressure. Range being upgraded. Just still playing it off just two gateways with this probe in the wings. And unfortunately, yeah. Uh, and maybe... Well, okay, this is interesting. So Jess, rather than going... Is just going to play from... I keep saying apparently Rustig instead of Rusk. Ig. My bad. I'll get better. So I've been score about halfway finished. I almost feel like Jess is dropping... I don't know. Jess knows this game better than I do. But I almost feel like dropping the initiative a little bit. Does it look like it was going to gateway into expand? The follow. We will see, though. Nothing has happened just yet. Now the Dragoons marching up. That is four Dragoons versus... Or two Dragoons versus five Zealots, though. Plenty of time. There's a proxy pylon from Just. So this is where we will see the action. I'm going to assume a robotics facility. I think we're going to see with this many Zealots on the uh, ground, Robo Reaver. Robo Reaver. Cybernetics Core is out for Ball. I want to see some additional gateways and a forge. So four Dragoons to harass these Zealots. And actually, maybe pick if you can pick off that Dragoon, that's huge. 
Because the more Dragoons that get picked off, that's like fewer units that can go after the Reavers. Just need, and just playing this very carefully, because you need to be careful. That's brilliant. Move to the south. Because that moves these units away from where they might be able to spot this proxy tech. And kind of discover what's going on. There's the third gateway. Planted for Ball. No third gateway for Jess. It's possible we'll see a third gateway at this location, but maybe not. I think the there is an opportunity for Jess to kind of slow Reaver walk right into this. Again, I love it from Jess. Picking off... So knowing that Reaver tech is going to be the choice, going in, sneaking in, trying to pick off these Dragoons so that those Reavers are safer and more secure. Because Reavers do not care about Zealots. They might as well... They wouldn't... Might as well not be Zerglings. But they're basically, you know, beefier Zerglings, right? They're like, I don't know, a fourth in Ultralisk. Maybe less. Point being, they don't care. Just okay to, like, invite this to the high ground with this many Dragoons. The thing is, is, like, thinning out that count at this stage. And I also love it, Just building the robo, uh, the support bay back here. So that even if this is lost, there's still an opportunity to recuperate. Now getting an observatory just in case. But kind of get eyes and press into this. Six gateways, sorry, five gateways going to be up. Another cannon in the front just in case there was a drop. Ball still very much in the dark. Getting weapons online. Ball does have the overall economic advantage. We'll have the gateway unit production advantage, but this is going to be the critical thing. Ooh, forward pylon here to disrupt some of that. Because here's the thing. These Dragoons will need to slip by target that Reaver. If we see a shield battery back here, that'll be a big advantage. But on top of that, that provides some of that misfire opportunity. A zealot is going to be able to sneak out. Might maybe even get a scout. Ball realizing, okay, need to take care of this now. Reaver making the way forward. Too little too late. Ah, still gets the pylon. So small victories. Is just going to slow play this or just kind of press into this? Waiting on the observer, I think, to kind of get eyes on... Because you want that observer so you can kind of get the... Uh, the nice attack spread at this stage. Spreading these units out, kind of in a protective cusp around. Reaver slowly moving forward. Oh, this feels like one of those. Trying to go in, get that snipe. Re-engaging though. Loses the Reaver, but I think that was enough dam that was enough of a damage spread that Jess can still press into this. Keep in mind, there's still gateway reinforcements. Another Reaver should be able to slow move. A single Zealot has been able to sneak across, though. Might be able to get some disruption underneath. Just working on this natural expansion. High ground, miss shot advantage. But still, that's significant amount there on the ground. But the Zealot from Ball going up, trying to take care of these probes and stop that gas production. Probes coming off the line to try to defend this. So Ball's not out of this yet. High ground advantage plus the production that can happen there. Could even things out. Another Reaver here on the ground. Does just real Okay, just now realizes that this is a problem. It's going to be a while. And that disrupts a lot of that gas. Also buys time for Ball. Forward pylon from Jess. Maybe to get a shield battery in the natural. The Reaver slow crawling. The probes trying to defend themselves. And this is economy that Jess couldn't afford to lose. Reaver shot. Does it? It's going to be a dud. So Ball still maintains a sizable probe lead. A pile on there to provide some misfire off the high ground. This natural is exposed, but keep in mind, even if this goes down, that's still 27 probes from Ball. He just has a tech disadvantage then. Starting to flood out even more Dragoons. Needs to hold this natural to maintain that advantage overall. Might be able to get on top of this Reaver. Three Dragoons are there. One more shot. Sorry, one more shot. Yeah, it gets that Reaver, but another Reaver right there to replace. And I think that might be it. I think Jess might be able to, with just the amount of production that's happening at a ball's base, I think he still can only produce off four gateway. And so now we're... And needs to save the Reaver shots, honestly, for the Dragoon engagements. More Dragoons making their way across. But Jess did have that disruption in economy. Might lose this Reaver! That Reaver goes down. Man... Back and forth, three Dragoons versus two Dragoons and a Pylon with some disruption fire. There was a high ground advantage. It looks like Ball pressing down, and I think Ball might have done it. Ball holding. Still more Reavers to be produced, but Ball, 26 probes, but two bases worth of saturation has held. 
and just now taking that natural. Plus, there's this proxy stuff that once Ball gets around to it, might be able to take. Does just have something else up the sleeves, and I think that Zealot was... I think that Zealot was the deciding factor, specifically going up and disrupting this gas production. You can see Jess still hasn't been able to produce, still hasn't gotten all of the probes back on everything that needs to be happening here, and it only has one probe on gas. I think that's intentional here at this stage. Yeah, Jess calls it. GG. Nice defense by Ball. Jess will move on to the loser's bracket here. Ball advances. Congratulations to Ball. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to the final match in this very, like, honestly, it's been intense PvPs. Good effort from Jess. Still rooting for you. Hero Zealot. Moving on to the final match momentarily.